Hello everyone! So it's now possible to try the push state support uh, which is now available in uh, Phoenix Live View. Remember, uh, Live View is uh, still in beta at the moment. And uh, what is uh, push state and why it can be useful? So uh, the cool thing about uh, Phoenix Live View is that uh, we can uh, update parts of the page without having to change the location or uh, and without having to use directly JavaScript or doing a full uh, refresh of the page. The problem at the moment uh, in this specific example is that every time we change the image here, we select a new image, the URL is not updated. So this makes difficult to bookmark uh, a specific uh, uh, image or to share a specific image uh, to another user. The live view uh, push state support solves exactly this problem. And uh, while changing the page uh, content, uh, we can dynamically update the URL without having to uh, do a full page refresh. The reason why it's called a push state is because this name refers to an uh, HTML5 history API function uh, called uh, push state. There is this object here, history, and uh, it has a push state function. And we can use this push state function to uh, dynamically change the URL. Like in this case, we can do, for example, hello. And you can see that without refreshing the page, we uh, we have just changed the uh, the URL, and this new page is also added in the in our history. So, for example, uh, we can do you see here one two, and every time uh, it's uh, it's changed. We are now going to see how to develop at first uh, this simple example with uh, push state support and then uh, another example I made uh, just for fun, uh, not particularly useful but uh, nice to see, which is an uh, animated uh, URL uh, with emoji. You can find the code we are going to see in a moment here uh, in Poetic Code in Phoenix Live View Example, which is a fork of the original uh, Live View Example uh, repository. Uh, there is uh, a link to this repository in the resources uh, with uh, a link to how to install uh, Phoenix Live View. If it's your first time uh, with Live View, it's, uh, it's a good start. So let's see first uh, um, the the code of it, this example. As you can see, this is the the the, the first part uh, where uh, we are not updating the URL. We have a map of pictures. Uh, for simplicity, we use a map instead of a database. Uh, the key is the idea of a picture, and uh, for each key, we have a value which is a map, author, and image URL. We use these two uh, functions to get from that picture URL uh, a thumbnail or a big format, but not a full resolution. So big is actually a uh, width of uh, 800. Um, we render we render the list, this list of pictures. So, so since uh, pictures is a map, we, um, we have a tuple uh, so the ID is the key and uh, uh, picture is the value, uh, which is a map. Um, so here we have, uh, we render the image using the picture URL um, a function, specifying we want just a thumbnail. With Phoenix click uh, show, uh, we say that when the user clicks uh, this tag here, uh, actually triggers this event. Uh, you see here, uh, triggers uh, the show event, uh, which is handled by this function. And uh, the ID here is the value we pass, which is this one. The ID in this case is the key here, uh, which is the ID of the picture. So what we do is to get the picture and assign the picture uh, to this uh, atom here. 
So this selected picture will be available in the render. So um, live view re-renders the, um, re -renders the page and this time selected picture will be available. As you can see here in the mount is nil by default. Uh, and then when we click uh, the picture, this um, uh, selected picture is now different from nil. So this part will be rendered, which is the actually the picture we see uh, under uh, the thumbnails. Um, you see here picture uh, picture URL, a selected picture and uh, big. Okay, let's see how we can uh, change the URL. So let's first go back to uh, router and add another route with the ID. So in this case, uh, we have selected a picture because uh, an ID is specified and this is when nothing is selected. Uh, and now we can add a handle params. We have to add a handle params function. The first argument is a map, the params map. Uh, and so uh, we pattern match the ID. And the second argument is the URI we don't need it at the moment. And we actually do the same as here. Just copy and paste. Uh, we also need to handle uh, the case when uh, when nothing is selected. So uh, def handle params. Uh, so in this case, in all the other cases, we just uh, um, assign nil. So we hide the uh, the the image, and uh, we we return so the socket uh, socket. And we need to also change this function. So instead of uh, assigning the picture here, we just use this function here. We are going now to see exactly. So when this event is triggered, um, so we do a live redirect, which means uh, changing the, uh, the URL uh, with the push state. Uh, we pass the socket as the first argument and, um, and we specify, so we use root live path. We pass again the socket. Uh, our uh, module and we pass the ID. So in this way, we are triggering this route here. So using this library direct, uh, we are using uh, push state. Okay, let's see if it works. Great. As you can see, it's super easy uh, to add uh, push state support to our uh, current application. Let's now see uh, how to uh, create the animated uh, emoji, uh, moon emoji in the URL. So as we did for pictures, we uh, added the two routes here and I've already uh, created a, like a really simple, uh, the, the start of this model here. So Moon Live is the model name. And so Moons is a list of uh, the emojis we are going to use. Um, uh, and so each element is a frame of uh, the animation. Moons count uh, is just a number of uh, elements we have in this list. Uh, mount is uh, a, a simple one. We don't do anything here. Same for params we need it, but we don't assign or do anything here. Um, so the render, the render has two buttons, the start and the stop uh, and uh, the click uh, in this case, uh, triggers the start event and here the stop event. So what we are going to do is to uh, handle these events. 
so let's define um, handle um, yep, uh, handle event uh, start so uh, the the start so we don't need the value and what we do is we start from the first frame so we assign let's see so we assign um, sorry. we assign um, like let's call it moon index and let's so we we are using this index to understand to remember where uh, at which frame we are and we also um, we also use this atom so running true with this one we are able to also uh, to understand where we are running or not and uh, we are also able to stop uh, setting this to false so um, no reply socket in this way we are just assigning but nothing happens what we need to do to activate to start the animation is to send a message so we use process send after to ourself a message which is like next moon okay after 100 uh, milliseconds great so this this message is handled by the uh, handle info uh, next moon um, and the second argument is the socket so at the beginning uh, we can uh, just uh, test this out uh, considering the moon index at the beginning is zero we can just get our moon frame uh, so the element and element and emoji of uh, uh, this list uh, so enum at socket assign uh, moon assigns moon uh, index okay we obviously need to say moons here okay and then as we did before for the pictures uh, uh, example uh, we use a live redirect uh, to uh, to trigger the push state so the URL uh, gets updated uh, without uh, refreshing the page. So uh, live redirect um, socket. Uh, we uh, pass the socket also here. Uh, the our module and the string we want to pass, which is the uh, emoji. Um, we expect, as I said, since uh, we initialize it to zero, we expect the first frame here let's see if it works so i expect that uh pressing start okay great you see uh there is the uh the the moon here uh, the first face great we saw the first frame we need to go on and create the animation so how can we do it um so we need to send a next moon uh, message uh every 100 millisecond um we also need to increment the index. We are using the reminder in this way. Uh, we get uh, an index uh, that is uh, inside the range of uh, between zero and seven. Uh, we also update, so we ass uh, assign, uh, we assign, uh, so we update our index, the, the moon index with, and we use this. So in this way, this doesn't, doesn't uh, increase too much. And um, obviously here, obviously here we use this index. So better, so the moon, so we first calculate the index, uh, then uh, we extract the exact frame we want then we update the index for the next time instead of sending directly what we are going to do is to check 
if socket of assigns running is true if yes we send the message so in this way when running get uh, get is changed to false by the stop event we need to implement here so this um this is not uh this is not um, the next moon message is not sent and the animation stops so we actually just need to implement the uh, stop event where we um, assign um, so we do no reply um, assign socket and we say running false okay there is an expected token line 54 um, So, oh yeah, uh, here, uh, do we do what's missing? Cool, so let's try it. And as you can see, we have uh, an animation. Let's see if it stop works. Yeah, it works. In this video and uh, with these two examples, we've seen how easy it is to use the live view push state support to change the URL without having to refresh the page. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment below. And if you're interested about new Elixir and Phoenix and uh, live view content, please subscribe to this channel and subscribe to uh, the Poetic Coding newsletter. Thanks for watching. Bye.